This is the 2018 LC500, Lexus's new flagship coupe, and it's gorgeous. The luxury car maker's wild spindle grille is backed by equally interesting sheet metal featuring lots of bends and creases, a carbon fiber roof, and aggressive 21-inch wheels, all creating a design that's eye-catching without going overboard to look cartoony. It manages to possess attitude and elegance at the same time. On the inside, there's a dashboard inspired by the LFA supercar, top-notch build quality with lots of leather and Alcantara, and front seats that are among the most comfortable and supportive examples from any automaker today. It's simply a really nice place to be. And with any proper flagship luxury vehicle, there's a decent list of technology offerings with an infotainment system sporting a massive 10.3-inch center screen, heads-up display, navigation, and a rocking 13-speaker Mark Levinson audio system. The downside is that things are adjusted by Lexus's remote touch controller, which is among the most maddening interfaces to use in the luxury realm. Lexus doesn't offer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto here to help either. Tech quibbles aside, the LC500 isn't just another pretty face in the crowd because this beauty can also really move, and that makes me happy. The combination of a super stiff chassis, firm suspension, tight steering, and wide and sticky tires give this a ton of grip in corners. There's little to no body roll, and there's great reflexes, giving this car handling capabilities that you will not be able to max out on the street. As for downsides, ride quality on bumpy roads is a bit rougher, but it's not terrible and likely won't bother people who are willing to give up some comfort in the name of handling. Power comes from a 5 liter V8 engine making 471 horsepower and 398 pound feet of torque. That's connected to a smooth shifting 10 speed automatic transmission. Lexus says 60 miles per hour happens at 4.4 seconds. And for those keeping track at the fuel pump, the LC returns 16 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. that you'll care about fuel economy when you unleash the LC on track, which is where it does its best work. The V8 at wide open throttle sounds menacing and power builds all the way to red line. It just sounds so good. Gearbox response to manual shift commands is admirable. It's not dual clutch good, but it's near instant. And killing speed are six piston front and four piston rear brakes. Steering is weighty and offers tons of feedback. And this test car's optional limited slip differential and rear wheel steering system almost entirely eliminates understeer. It takes a tight off camber turn like 10B here at Gingerman Raceway to make the front end push some. But even then, the rear end eventually does rotate around fairly quickly. I honestly can't believe that this car weighs almost 4,200 pounds. For me, the LC's greatest accomplishment is that it has a personality. It doesn't feel like some over-computerized machine that's bound to get boring to drive after a while. Instead, it's pure with the way it communicates with whoever's behind the wheel to make it a fun and engaging experience. If Gingerman would let me stay out here for a few more sessions, I'd be okay with that. In fact, I'd be thrilled with that because this car is that fun to drive out here. So the $102,000 question is, would I take the LC500 over the Mercedes S-Class Coupe or the now discontinued BMW 6 Series Coupe? You know what? I think I would. I like the fact that it's not quite a pure sports car and not quite a GT car with a smaller trunk and not so impressive tech hand. It's simply a great driver in a semi more practical body that looks sensational with an awesome interior. And that's a combo I find difficult to pass up. Got it. <laughs> All right, so you get an idea what this car will do, man. It's just absolutely amazing. It holds the road like mm -hmm. a dream, changes direction exactly the way you want it to. Wow. Really couldn't ask for much more from a vehicle like this. So you're right. Whew. There you go. Wonderful. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that.